everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm bringing you a quick grocery haul. I'm going to include the points for the things that I know. There's a couple of things in here that I didn't have time to scan. So I'm just gonna talk through them and give you approximate points, but make sure you check those if you choose to pick them up on your own. All right, so I'm kind of a little crunch for time, but I thought I would just go ahead and film this because it's been a while since I filmed a grocery haul. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I picked up at Walmart. I think my overall total was like $97. It doesn't go far, I'm telling you, but I did pick up what I needed and it should get me through the week. So let me show you what I bought today. Okay, so the first thing that I grabbed was the bread and this is one slice for two points, two slices for three points, and this is my favorite bread. It's not really thin. It does make a good sandwich and makes excellent toast. I grabbed some Stouffer's meatloaf. I think this is like six or seven points per meatloaf. So it is a really good option and a really quick dinner in case you need it. Some more things that I picked up from the frozen section is I grabbed some sliced strawberries. Now, I'm assuming that if these were the ones that were part of the recall that they would have pulled them off the shelf. So I thought I was safe enough to pick these up today. And I did have a bag that was part of the recall and I did contact Walmart and they refunded my money on them. So if you, sorry, Taco was going to be vocal again. Okay, so I was talking about the recall. So the great value sliced strawberries were part of a recall that just happened. I think it was like 33 states that were affected. So if you have these in your freezer, go ahead and check them and make sure that they weren't part of it. But again, I just picked these up today, so I'm thinking that if they were part of that recall, they would have been pulled off the shelf. Okay, enough of that. I also grabbed some mixed fruit, as well as some berry medley, and you know me, these are for my overnight oats, and I have been loving my overnight oats lately. So therefore, I had to get some more old-fashioned oats, and these ones are really good, and I've been experimenting with some new flavor combinations, so stay tuned, and hopefully I'll get some of those filmed for you. I did just film one, I think, two weeks ago, and I'm telling you, I am still enjoying the heck out of those. They are so good. I needed to get some snacks. So I went ahead and picked up some of these rolled gold tiny twists. And I think that these are like four or five points per serving. And the serving on those is about 20 pretzels. It's a really good snack. And these cheddar ones are absolutely delicious. So if you find these in your store, definitely pick them up. I was on a pretzel kick apparently, so I went ahead and got these baked pretzels as well. So now I've got something to be able to snack on. And I'm planning on making a new ranch dip variations. I will film that when I do it, but I'm gonna try that out with these with these plain pretzels. And some carrot sticks, because you know, carrot sticks dipped in ranch are really, really good. I needed some romaine lettuce, and they didn't have the, um, the three pack. All they had was the organic, and that's not my favorite. So I went ahead and just picked up one, and I figured I'll hit the store in a couple of days and try to get some more of this. All right, sticking with produce, I picked up some Cosmic Crisp Apples. These have really been um, some of my favorites, and look how big these are. They're really good size. And I figure I'll just have one a day to snack on, and that'll give me something sweet to eat. And I love apples. I don't know about you, but I have really been enjoying my apples this year. I grabbed some bananas because bananas, I get those every single week, and I seem to eat them quite often. If I'm not adding them to my oatmeal, I'm just eating them plain. So it's really a good filling zero point snack to have around. All right, the next thing I grabbed was some couscous. It's been a while since I've had this, 
and I've seen somebody making this on a recipe, so I went ahead and grabbed some. This is so good. If you've not had couscous before, it kind of reminds me of a rice, but like a rice cornbready mixture. It's kind of hard to explain. I use garlic in it and it's super good. So I went ahead and picked up a larger container. I think this was seven something. I couldn't find any other smaller containers or smaller packages of it. So I just went ahead and grabbed the big one. I picked up some ground turkey breast. All they had was the 98 lean. Um, this one's still zero points. So I went ahead and picked up two packages of that and I will go ahead and brown one. And I would love to make some turkey burgers, but every time I buy these to make the turkey burgers, I end up throwing one in the freezer. So hopefully I will find the time to make turkey burgers and mix those up and put those in the freezer and be able to use the other for ground meat. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and brown both of these so that I have something to flavor up and use on my salads or in wraps or whatever, but um, ground turkey breast is always a good thing to have on hand. I also wanted to grab some watermelon because I absolutely love, love, love watermelon. So sometimes you just have to pick up two. Yes, two watermelons, but they're going to be delicious. And it is my favorite, my all-time favorite summertime snack. I'm just going to slide these back out of the way now since I've already lifted them. My husband wanted some pepperoni, so I went ahead and grabbed that for him while I was there. I have no idea on the points. I'm not going to eat this, so I'm not worried about it. And then I needed some stuff from the pharmacy area, the... I know it's not called the pharmacy area. Anyway, I needed some peroxide and some alcohol for the camper. Look at this cute little spray bottle. I didn't even know this existed. I mean, this is very cool that if you have to spray it on, you know, if you're not pouring it, it's, it's, I just thought it was cool. So I went ahead and got that for the camper. And then I ran out of dental floss in my work bag. So I got not one, not two, but three of them so that I could stick one in my purse and I can have one in my work bag and then I needed one for the camper. So there's three that I'll have and hopefully when I'm looking for dental floss, I'll be able to find it. All right, I think that's it. That's all I picked up today. I mean, it was, it was, I mean, it was a lot, but it's still, again, $97. It just, prices have really been skyrocketing and I'm, I'm looking to find out if I can make deals left and right, but sometimes you just have to pick up what you need. All right, so with that said, I want to thank you for watching my grocery haul and hopefully you like it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on my channel. And with that said, have a great day and I'll see you next video.